Hello everyone, this is another video from series of AWS Lambda. Today we will dive into what are the version analyzers in Lambda and how to use them in real world scenario. As usual, it is really appreciate your help, so please like and subscribe if you like this content, really appreciate it. Thank you, let's get in. Right. The version is allow us to do the beta testing without impacting deployed or stable production version. So as an example, let's say you have a Lambda function which has a version 1 uh, already deployed. This is the, uh, the version actual client is using currently production. The same time you want to add a new feature and test without impacting this existing version 1. So that is where the, the version is used. What we can do, the developer, it's update the, the code and it's create a new version, something called version 2, in this case version 2, and developer do the beta testing on top of the version 2. Same time, the version 1 is not impacted because the version 1 does not have a, a new code changes. Once the beta testing is done and successfully verified, the client can be connected to disconnect from the version 1 and point into version 2. So that is how the version get can use in the with the lambda function. The furthermore, version can be used to a canary canary uh, deployment with the support of alias. In this case, some percentage of traffic goes to the new version and other percentage goes to the uh, old version. The percentage can be configured in with the, in the inside the alias. So we will see all these in the uh, action next. Let's create a version and then talk about what is really about version. I'm in AWS console and already created a simple Lambda function. This is Lambda function I created. If I go inside what is Lambda function, the runtime is a Node.js. As you can see, the, the code is default template for the Node.js Lambda. Other than that, I added the console log, which is version 1, and update the uh, body, which is response, into version 1. That's all I did other than the uh, default Node.js Lambda template. Right. Let's create a version on this Lambda function. Go to a version. I'm in a Lambda function and go to version step and click on publish new version. You can provide the name which is a version a version description which is optional. Uh, just give it any name and click on publish. I'm not giving, giving any name. This will publish a new version. A version number is uh, as you can see version number one. The version number is always synchronized by a one. So if you create another version, it's the version number will be get it too. As you can see, our this is our new version and you can click on the function. If you click on the function and go to the latest. This is the, the this is this is the version which always get updated with your code changes. Whenever you update this code, it's update the latest, but it's not update the code of the version we just created. So let's talk about a bit of more about version. The version is a snapshot of Lambda function for given time. The snapshot include the code, environment variable, and some configuration. For example, uh, general configuration. Some of the general configuration is part of the snapshot. So you are not allowed to update the code, uh, environment variable, and uh, some of the general configuration once the uh, version is created. But still, you can update, for example, in the particular version, if you go to the particular version, you can update some of the, the uh, some of the, the configuration like uh, triggers and provisional concurrency, still you can update. If I update, the, let me show you. If I update the code changes, I'm go to the uh, latest. If I update the code and environment variable of this is the latest version, it will not update the version. Let me show you. I'm in the latest version and go to the code and update the version to version two and deploy. And plus I'm gonna up add a new 
environment variable into our latest version. Click on edit, test, edit. Right, we successfully updated the latest Lambda function, which is not a version one, latest is a, a latest, version one is a different. We update the code with the latest and add the, a new variable. So let's go to the, our version, have a look what is in the version. If I go to the version, click on the version, and currently I'm in the version one, in the top you can see we are in the version one, and if you go to the code, Right, so this is uh, uh, still, this has an old code. So if I go to the configuration and go to environment variable, as you can see, there's a no any environment variable in uh, version one. So as I mentioned, the version is a snapshot and it is immutable. Same for the environment variable. But as I mentioned, some of the, some of the configuration are still, you can update, for example, in the version one, you can add the new trigger if you want to. You can add a new trigger, or let's say S3 or something. Let's say put S3C. Still, you can add a new triggers on top of the a particular version. Right. Uh, that is about the version. So now the next question is how and why this version. As I earlier mentioned, the version is used to beta testing. Let me create another version and see how this is working. If I go to Letters and click on the version and click on the Create, just Publish. So we will get uh, another version you can see. If I go to over here, this is a version two. And if I go to Environment Variable, Environment Variable has a, a new test variable now. If I go to the code, this code should have a latest version, so version two. Now we do have a version one and version two, they do have a different code and different uh, environment variable. Right, let's see how uh, this is triggered. There are many ways you can trigger the uh, Lambda function. If I go to the uh, trigger, as you can see, there are many, a bunch of ways to trigger a Lambda function. Today, we will create an API gateway to trigger our Lambda function and see how the version can trigger in different way. Uh, let's go to API Gateway. I'm quickly creating a new sample API Gateway, API Endpoint. Click on Create API. Go to third option, which is REST API. This is a test, Elias. Keep the all the setting as default. Click on Create API. We got the, our API, this is Elias, and click on the method. I'm clicking on the root and click on the create method. Let's say we will call get method. And as an integration type, we will uh, give our Lambda function name. So this is a tricky part. So how do you select the Lambda function? Here, what we're gonna do, Elias, and this is our uh, Lambda function. If I put this way, the Lambda uh, ARN, which is gonna hit the latest version. If you want to hit the particular version, in this case, if you want to hit the uh, later, version one, you need to use colon and one. If you want to hit the version two, you need colon two. In this case, let's say we are hitting the version one. Right. This is uh, the same way you can give a uh, uh, ARN. Actually, this is the ARN of the version one. If I go to our Lambda function, Lambda function, and go to the versions, and let's say go to the version one. This is the ARN of the uh, version one. That's the uh, uh, ARN we should give uh, when we go to the integrate with the API get. This is for the same thing. If you, if you integrate with the different services, you need to uh, give the ARN in this way. I will give the version one and click on create method. Right, we got our get endpoint. Let's do a testing. If we go to the test, we can do the testing in the same time. If you go to the test, 
and you can hit the we don't have inquiry string and uh, any client certificate just to click on test what you can see the response body is come from as a version 1 because we are hitting the uh, version 1 if you if you go to change uh, if you go to integration request and click on edit and lambda function if you want to hit the version 2 change the uh, version 2 now if I go and have save it again go to our test tab I'm getting more space I'm in the test tab and click on the test this will should send the version 2 now it's our API gateway pointing to version 2 with the version you can test any new changes at this way you can you can test any new changes or new features without impact in the current uh, environment. So it is uh, in, in with the version, it's almost created the new environment and it is a snapshot of the particular Lambda for a given time. But still there are some features, there are some configurations you can update, but the code and environment variable, for example, you can't change once you create the version. Right, now we know what is the version. Let's see what is alias. Alias are more going hand in hand with the uh, version. As I mentioned al earlier, alias can be used for canary deployment. What we can do, we can we will create alias. Let's go to alias tab. Click on create alias, and then give it a name. I'm give it as a, a current and description is optional, and the, then the version. You must select a version when you create an alias. Either you can give it a uh, one version, for example, let's say we are giving one. And if you do not select any version from the weighted alias, the, all the traffic goes to the version you select, in this case, version one. And if you select the additional version from weighted alias, for example, let's go to uh, weighted alias and select the version two and give it a say, 10% of the traffic should go to version 2 and the 90% of the traffic should go to version 1. This is the more, all about canary deployment. So when the someone hit this alias, 90% more traffic goes to version 1 which is already in the production and the new version which is version 2 get the 10% of the uh, traffic. We will keep, let's keep this configuration and click on save. Right, I'm in uh, Elias, as you can see the current, and uh, it shows the traffic distribution. If we go to uh, over here, you can see the version one uh, get uh, 90% and version two got the, uh, version, sorry, version one got the 90% and version two got the 10%. If you go to the latest, and if you click on the Elias, you can see the same distribution over here. Uh, again, the not like the version alias is a uh, mutable. You can change the alias so that uh, if you click on the current and click on the edit, you can change the distribution and the version under corresponding alias. For example, you can change the uh, into let's say the other way. For example, this one say none. You can see select one and you can select one. You can change the version and the uh, uh, particular distribution. Uh, as you need. This is not like a version. I'm not going to save. Uh, right, cool. Let's see how. Let's see how this uh, we can we can trigger the alias. Let's use the same API endpoint. Let's go to the, our API endpoint. And click on the. This is our get endpoint. Click on the integration request and click on the edit. Uh, this is a lambda function. Earlier it was pointing to version two. Now what we need to do, we need to point into our alias, which is colon again, and the uh, alias name. That's all you need to do. And click on save it. Now our API endpoint point to our alias. Let's go to, let's do the testing. Click on the test. And what we're gonna do, we will 
right this is come from we will uh, click on the test and we will go from the version 1 more requests should come from version 1 and let's keep trying still it's version 1 and because 90% of the request should come from version 1 I'm keep ch entering um, right seems like uh, it's a uh, kind of okay here we got sometimes it's a uh, I had to click on multiple time to get the uh, version 2 some of the traffic goes to version 2 what we can do easily uh, we will deploy this change into staging environment new staging environment uh, let's say create a new staging environment then we can use the browser because some of the things are caching that's why we can't directly see we will deploy into dev environment uh, deploy and we get this URL and open a new tab new tab and uh, paste the URL so yeah you can see uh, what we can do why it's giving a copy this is endpoint right let's see okay here we go you can see uh, if I update get a little bit more stuff and keep refreshing uh, this is a glitch let me check uh, because I delete the environment and recreate it that's why it's getting the forbidden I guess it's a caching what I'm doing I'm uh, go back and delete this dev environment go back to resources deploy to uh, new name let's say prod we got the deployment invoke URL this is a prod and go here in the browser paste it and enter seems like it's getting the forbidden seems like some glitch on caching issue like what I did now it seems okay so when I refresh you can see version 1 it goes to version 1 and uh, I keep refreshing I keep sending the request to, to uh, well, alias okay here we go version 2 the 90% of the traffic comes from version 1 and the 10% of the traffic come from version 2 the alias it is easy to maintain the application you don't need to change the API gateway when you want to test the, a new version. Example, the currently API points to alias of the Lambda, which is current, and so by two versions, version 1 and 2. When the testing is done, you just need to update the alias. For example, if you go to the alias and you can edit and you can change the version as you need. And you don't need to change the API and go to API and change the API endpoint. So this is a real scenario. Your client is point to alias and you have a fully flexibility to distribute the traffic between a different version. Right, cool. Uh, that is all about version and alias of Lambda. So hope you enjoy and got something out of it. Uh, again, before you go, if you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe. Really appreciate it. For the more, click on the bell icon will notify my future video and won't miss any. Other than that, uh, if you have any question, comment, just yes, please comment below. I will get them as needed. Again, thanks for watching and see you on another video. Thanks.